What's up everyone, I am Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the 5 reasons not to buy Vivo V5. Before we get started, you should know that this phone, at the price it's sold, doesn't stand a chance against any of the online exclusive phones like Redmi Note 4. So these reasons are without considering other online exclusive phones. First reason will be the lack of dedicated SD card slot. We get a hybrid SIM slot, so you have to choose between using dual SIMs or using an SD card. Before Geo was launched, this was not a problem. But now, with Geo's low cost data plans, you might be interested in using two SIMs and the lack of a dedicated SD card might be a reason for few. By the way, phones like Oppo F1s and Oppo A57 come with a dedicated SD card slot. Next reason will be the 5.5 inch HD display. I personally think a HD resolution for a 5.5 inch device is manageable, but at the same time, a HD resolution for a device that costs 15,000 rupees is simply unacceptable. For normal usage, it's manageable, but for media consumption, the display won't look that crisp. Next reason is that it's not the best choice for gaming. Because of the HD resolution, you can play almost all the high-end games with slight lag and no hitting issues, but the visuals are not great. You have to compare the gameplay between different devices to notice this difference. The visuals just look a little too cartoonish. The next reason has to do with the outdated MediaTek processor. This is 2017 and even by 2016 standards, this processor is old and underpowered. For a basic user, it won't be a problem, but if you plan to use lot of apps, then it will slow down your phone a lot. The final reason is the lack of a gyroscope, which might not be a huge deal for you. It says it has pseudo gyroscope, meaning it is compensating the lack of a gyroscope with some other sensor. So it will work, but it won't be accurate and there will be some lag. You can watch 360 degree videos, but the effect won't be very good. And because of the HD screen, the screen looks lot more pixelated while watching VR content. And finally, selfies are neither good nor bad. If you are just concerned about the person in the selfie, then selfies are simply awesome. But if you want to take a selfie with the person and the background, this phone does a bad job. It overexposes the background and makes it completely useless. Now if we compare it with the current and latest phones in the market like Redmi Note 4, Moto G5 Plus, they all offer better performance, better battery life and better rear cameras. This phone is simply not for everyone. If you just want a phone to take great selfies and buy it in a retail store, then you are better off with Oppo A57 or the Oppo F1s. So guys that's pretty much it for this video. So, What's your reason to buy this phone or not buy this phone? Let me know by commenting below this video. Stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.